Hey guys, uh, we're at the. Uh, in... Hey guys, we're in the backyard at the Delfini residence today, and uh, it's actually December first. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about pomegranates. Uh, we have a pomegranate tree here that uh, actually came from a, uh, a root. It popped up as a, as a shoot that my dad cut it off and put it in a pot and grew it up and gave it to us as a gift. So uh, this is about five years old. Um, I wanted to go over some of the struggles I've had with them and some of the successes that I've had with them. So um, as you can see, there's only a few pomegranates that are left on the tree. Um, we've probably only gotten about 15 this year. Um, but they've turned out really good. Whereas last year we had more, and uh, but they never really um, turned a nice dark color. They were white. So um, some of the things I've noticed is that um, if you get too much rain or you leave the irrigation on too long and it floods out, um, it will actually um, make some of the fruit open up and uh, fall off the tree. So overwatering is a big deal, especially towards the end, um, late summer, into the fall um, you want to make sure that it's not getting too much water if it does a lot of the fruit will open up and fall off before you get a chance to get them uh, number two um, a lot of them start uh, rotting out and uh, from the research I've done it appears that it's from a uh, leaf footed bug um, that can get in and stick its beak into the fruit and once it's opened up to bacteria and stuff it starts to slowly degrade so um, covering the fruit um, with, with bags is a, is a good idea if you want to get a better, um, better crop. Um, and I've also noticed that some of the, some of the nights, when you get the nights that are, you kind of want to leave them on the tree as long as you can, because as the nights cool off, the fruit actually gets a deeper color and they get, in my opinion, a little sweeter. Um, so pulling them too early is not a good idea. Um, they should, they usually come in right around Thanksgiving. Last year they were opening up a little early and I thought they were ripening up, but they were not. Uh, they were opening up early and I think it was because they were getting too much water. So, um, as far as growing the tree, growing the tree is super easy. Uh, when I planted this, we did not have irrigation to it and I would just hose water it like once a week, once every 10 days. And, um, that would actually... The plant did fine, but the fruit would dry up and drop and fall off. So um, the plants are very easy to keep alive, but if you want fruit, you have to kind of water them regularly. And as it cools down, you really need to cut back on the water. Um, in the fall, they really don't need more than um, a water, a, a deep water, maybe once every 10 to 14 days. Uh, in the summer, they were getting water twice a week when we were 115 and above so um, as far as recommending these I do love the fruit my daughter loves the fruit um, I think it's worth it the trees are pretty cool looking you do need to keep them trimmed up if you want them to look like a tree because they will try and become a bush that's that's their natural state is uh, is looking like a bush so um, but anyway I just wanted to go over um, some of the struggles and some of the successes that we've had and that I, some of the things I've learned. Um, you definitely want to leave them on uh, up till Thanksgiving, at least here in the Phoenix area, if you can. And um, what I'm going to do is pull the rest of these off and then we'll go inside and open a couple or we'll open one to see, to show you what they look like. Um, so I'm going to pull these off real quick and then um, we'll come back when we're in the All kitchen. Right guys, we're in the kitchen now. And uh, one thing I forgot to tell you is that we will be bagging these from now on um, because I did lose a lot this year. We only got like 15 pomegranates and uh, um, we probably had 30, 35 of them on the tree. So um, I would recommend bagging them in like August all through the fall uh, to keep the bugs off of them uh, until they're ready to, to be harvested. But so we're going to open, we're opening this, one of these off the tree here, just to show you how dark and how well they turned out this year. So as you can see, these turned out way better than last year. Um, really nice dark color and uh, they're actually very sweet this year. So I think it was the cool weather and a combination of the cool weather and also uh, leaving these pomegranates um, on the tree longer. Um, I noticed when I was pulling them off that they literally just kind of 
like I would pull them and they would just fall right off. So they shouldn't be difficult to pull when they're ready. Um, they should come off. So that's another indicator that they're ready. Um, but we've definitely learned a lot about these over the last couple of years. And um, I would say if you're, if you're having to pull them off before Thanksgiving or around like late, you know, mid to, if you're pulling off mid November or earlier, then it's probably too early in, uh, in the Phoenix area. So anyway, um, I think overall we would definitely recommend growing pomegranates. Um, Savannah, would you recommend growing pomegranates? Yeah, of course. Um, it's probably Savannah's favorite fruit in the yard. Well, I don't know. It's between that and the peaches probably, but, yeah. um, but these are, these are awesome. Her and I love them. And, uh, I would definitely recommend growing a pomegranate tree. They're super easy to grow. And, um, and they taste really good when they're, when they're this nice deep color. So if you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments below and I will definitely respond and, uh, happy holidays.